Thank you, Bill. A wonderful work in progress. And nice, nice to dis. As soon as you said it, I thought, well, that's all of us, isn't it? And that's what this question is about. It's a work in progress. It's not finished. Um, we, we. Um, I was thinking. I always think of this as a, a, a meeting of hunter gatherers <laughs> that, that we go off to different fields. Some of them individual on high mountains or in deep caves. Some of them in societies and collective little communities, and and we we gather and. And for those of you, I'm wondering how many people are here for the first time. Can you just raise your hands that people are here for the first time? How, how very wonderful. Welcome. Um, so, so maybe just a word of explanation. We, we, um, you're going to hear a lot of things today that perhaps are, will be difficult for the uh, Stratfordian ears. Yeah. But, but you, are, you are almost the most welcome of all, all of us here. Um, wonderful, wonderful. And uh, we would really welcome your questions. We always ask in, in, in for, to ask. We always ask Stratfordian scholars to come and speak, and we're often turned down. But um, we're we're not a uh, anti-Stratfordian organisation at all. We just want to include a wider, um, a wider question and wider ideas. Uh, I I think it's also a, also quite a good thing to do at the beginning or near the beginning of these conferences just to, um, to close our eyes for the moment, and will you just picture the, the author, or the authors, as Bill has reminded us. In, I'm not going to ask you to say anything, but just close your eyes and picture the author that you imagine approaching you. What are their eyes like? Their nose, their face, are they smiling? Are they serious? How tall are they? If they say anything to you, what is it? What does their voice sound like? Just take note of that, that imaginative encounter. And we'll, we'll come back to that at the end of the day. Mm. Um, so, good. I'd like to introduce now Robert, who's going to read another sonnet for us before we go on. It's a, pl a great pleasure to be here. <laughs> I suppose I should acknowledge as an American, I don't know if I'm the sole American in the room, uh, the surprise and... Uh, How many Americans have you? Well, then this is more important than, than I thought. Just acknowledge the surprise and the disappointment. Some of us, <laughs> many of us, perhaps the majority of us have experience in relation to certain political events of recent. <laughs> When in disgrace with fortune in men's eyes, I, all alone, beweep my outcast state, and trouble deaf heaven with my bootless cries, and look upon myself, and curse my fate, wishing me like to one more rich in hope, featured like him, like him with friends possessed, Desiring this man's art and that man's scope With what I most enjoy, contented least Yet in these thoughts, myself almost despising Happily, I think on thee And then my state, like to the lark at break of day Rising from sullen earth, sings hymns at heaven's gate For thy sweet love remembered such wealth brings, that then I scorn to change my state with kings. Okay.